Hey guys, TC here. Uh, just a quick one. Apologies for the mic. Still a work in progress. Um, as soon as I've got a better update and a better mic, you'll be obviously be aware of it. As you can see, we've got a new patch today, patch 7.11. Uh, we've got some new ships in the game um, in the form of ones you can buy for your doubloons that you've earned. Um, the Borgon, the, the big baguette, the tier 10 French battleship is available for 30,000 steel in the arsenal. So make sure you check, check her out. Uh, we've got some new ships on test and some old ones returning. We'll have a look at those with the work in progress and have a quick, you know, what's what about them. Um, at a later date, obviously. Um, but in the meantime, one thing we wanted to look at was the containers for the Royal Navy event. Uh, this is the final hurrah of the Royal Navy for the collection. Um, they are, apparently they're really, really good from what a few people have said. You get some nice stuff in them. Um, so we're going to have a look, see what's what, see what flags we get, see what uh, components we get at the collection and see how we do and um, yeah, we can have a think about whether they're worth it so let's start off with container number one so we've got 20 Arubus flags so that's 777% free XP we have the 40mm AA pom-pom mount for the Royal Naval Destroyer collection and we have the Dunkirk evacuation picture there okay big container we have 20 Basilisk Flags. Now, I really like these Basilisk Flags. 30% credit and 75% XP is really nice. We have the Home Fleet Destroyer Camo. Um, this is a really nice feature they put in on this one, which shows you the different camouflage paint jobs for, for the 43, 44 and such. And we've got a 120mm Mark IX Royal Navy gun, um, as found on the Jutland, I think, maybe? We'll have a, we'll have a, look, like, we'll have a look at some point. Another big box. Okay, so we've now got 20 cilia flags. Nice, 25% XP, 50% 25% credits, 50% XP, 150% commander XP. Cool. Uh, we've got the HMS Valkyrie uh, insignia, and we also have HMS Daring's insignia. That's really cool. This one we've got 20 more Arubus flags. Uh, we've got HMS Meade in the Dover Patrol, and we've got our first duplicate. Okay, we've got 50, 20 of the Leviathan flags, 200% free XP, 100% commander, 50% XP, and 20% credits. And we've got two duplicates again. Okay, 20 more basilisks. We've got the 12.7mm Vickers AA machine gun for the Royal Navy. I think that's a quad mount looking at that. I think that's one, two, three, four guns there. And we've got our second duplicate of the Dunkirk. A third duplicate, sorry. Second? Third? Our third Dunkirk, so second duplicate. Catch up for you. 20 Union Jack camos. We all know how patriotic people like those. The Vickers again, and this time we've got the 1940 for Coastal Operations. That looks quite cool. I wonder if we can get it in the game somewhere. Okay, 20 more Union Jack and loads of duplicates. Uh, 20 more Leviathan and duplicates. Okay, Admiralty Light Camouflage 1942. And um, we've got 20 Hydra Flags, they're quite nice. Okay, 20 more Hydra and 113 Mark 7 dual per Mark 6 dual purpose machine uh, guns. They're quite nice. And a duplicate of course. Okay, we've got HMS Jutland's insignia and 20 more cilia flags. Twenty more cilia and some duplicates. Okay, 
Okay, the Triago Convoy Route, April 1941. Okay, 20 Basilisk. Uh, the Mediterranean Camouflage, 1940-1942, and a duplicate there as well. Let's go and have a look at the collection that these form part of, should we? So, do -do -do -do, our collections. So, here we go. It is the Royal Navy collections. So, and for completing this one, we can mount a second flag on our British destroyers. And for completing them all, you get a Royal Navy, Lightning, British Commonwealth, Hyeda, and a British collection flag. That's quite good. Okay, so this one. Okay, so we've completed all of that. So we've just been issued with a second flag for our British cruisers. That's quite good. Okay, so we've got three of the four pictures. Um, they're quite cool. And that gives us a second flag on our British battleships. Okay. So we've got all of the camos. And that one gives us a second flag on all Commonwealth ships. So Commonwealth ships are the Perth, uh, the Hyeda, the, Val the Vampire. Ooh. Can't think of any more. I think that's it, isn't it? We'll have a look. Uh, and luckily, we've got enough duplicates uh, in just 15 of these premium boxes that we can actually go through and exchange to complete our collection. So there we go, this is the second Battle of Navik from 1940. Uh, seizure. Uh, ten German destroyers were forced to linger in the waters due to a lack of fuel. Next morning, five British destroyers stormed the harbour. Before the Germany knew what was happening, sank them. Two destroyers and so two destroyers damaged all the last thing the British who eventually lost two of their ships. The German destroyers exhausted the supply of shells. In addition to the sources of fuel, they stood no chance of breaking through. Oh dear. After, oh there you go. Shortly after noon on April the thirteenth, an impressive sight could be seen from the snow covered shores of Oosterford. It's a battleship war spite accompanied by nine destroyers, including HMS Cossack and HMS Icarus, rumbling with her guns was surfing the mirror like northern waters. Very interesting, very nice. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that. One left to go. HMS Icarus is pending. A second flag on all our destroyers. Completed the Navy collection. We've got a Royal Navy Lightning permanent camo, a British Commonwealth Hyeda camo this time, and the British collection flag. So, there we go. Royal Navy Strivers honourable uh, badge completed as well. You can get that once. And what else do we get then? Uh, amount of compensation for our duplicates we had left over was 90,000. We used 5 each time. We had 16. That's not a bad return that on those. I'm quite happy with that return. So let's have a look. We've got a Lightning and we've got the Hyena. So I'm afraid I do apologise to the Canadians. Um, the Maple flag will be just taking a step back. Let's have a look at the camo. What have we got? Here it is. 10% off the cost of the XP, 50%, 10% off the cost of repairing, 50% of that. Uh, it looks a bit dowdy. Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not going to put it on. I'm going to keep the maple leaf. Don't worry, Canada. We still love you. Let's find the lightning. She's here. So there she is. Lightning. Uh, lightning. How does lightning look with that? Now, the lightning looks a lot better with that. Don't know what it is, it just suits it a bit better. There we go, we'll stick that on. There we go. Lightning has got that camo on now, so it's Union Jack. Happy days. And what we'll do, because we've got the Minotaur, is we'll actually go to the exterior and we'll stick a second flag on. 
so as you can see I've got my alpha flag on, that gives me 5% XP, 5% commander XP. Special flag only for alpha testers of the game. Um, what I'll do is I'll stick my, I might, I think I'll put my community contributor flag on because that means that I get 5% extra XP as well. There's our special British destroyer flag. Uh, do we have any others that give us any bonuses? There is another flag somewhere that gives you some bonuses somewhere. Uh, and I think everybody could have got, I think everybody got it. Where is it? Which one is it? One of them does. Let's just go through and find it. Sure, there's another one somewhere. Maybe I dreamed it. Hmm. I could swear there's another flag somewhere that gives you a bonus. Anyway. There we go. Two flags on. Happy days. Ready to rock and roll. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, you know, if you have, do apologise. If you have, that's great. I do apologise for the audio on the mic. Um, I am doing what I can do with it. Um, I do need to get a new one sorted, so I'm doing my best. And uh, we'll get a new one as soon as we can do. In the meantime, have a great weekend. And I'll see you on the live stream tomorrow night. On twitch.tv forward slash TCFrey. See you soon.